Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you my art sketchbook for my art course. So the first thing is my front cover. As you can see my front, my page was, my theme was fantastic and strange. So here is the mind map and the mood board, it's like a general mood board. Um, so it just has everything from my ideas translated from the mind map that I did. Then I did the... Um, proposal introduction, proposal and the brief deconstruction. So here's the proposal. Yes, it is extremely long and detailed and I also um, put a photograph underneath it as well. Then I had a chapter one which was um, detail in nature. So I wrote a little bit about it and then um, some pictures underneath and then I painted an onion which um, shows the Fibonacci series as well. Then the light in nature. So this is a painting that I did. It was a series of different steps. Then I moved on to reflection, which is chapter three or four, can't quite see it, which I was an abstract painting of an artist, a response to an artist. Then the last chapter, this is the chapter four, trees. So I used polyfiller and acrylics to create a piece of bark like painting so this is all a painting but it looks like real bark then this is a um a museum uh, uh, museum um 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 sit there thing like um david hockney so that's where i want to see it and also a responses to his painting and then another gallery visit which is um i did it was based on a reflection i also had pictures and annotations as well and so here it is this was really easy to do it was iridescent paints and acrylics then we had i did a study on rhododendrons so here's a series of my pictures that I took for this and a drawing that I did in charcoal. This honestly isn't based on the actual original photo. I um, took the photo, drew it and then with an artistic license I drew out the rest of it. Then I did this very haunting kind of tree picture and then this very Japanese inspired painting using inks and stuff like that which is it is again inspired by the river dungeons and then these are the thumbnails for my final piece so i did a series of different um paintings and drawings on a series of um a range of different um papers and then i did this large painting which is a con very contrasting um to show contrast then i did um, some ab more abstract art and it was water marbling so I did water marbling here and um, I just literally got a kit from a toy shop and used that to create a reflection and then I did this very interesting piece which I used bleach and oil and some sort of um, black paint and orange uh, paint as well to create like an abstract piece and then I did a response to Ai Weiwei. Uh, again, this is kind of like destruction of trees and stuff like that. And then an Ansel Kiefer response as well. So again, there's more writing about him, the responses as well. I did this using polyfiller, real plants and again acrylics to create this. It's very interesting, very easy to do, very abstract. I also did a bit on um, dandelions as well. Um, my Most of my work is very abstract, using real materials and based on nature. I like painting things that are to do with nature and stuff like that. And Maths and Nature, again, I did a small section on this, which is Fibonacci. So here is the um, pine cones. And then I did Karl Plosfeld, so I did this um, charcoal um, drawing and also print using real ferns and then acrylics. I did um, some annotations again on it, it's just simply writing it, as you can see. Then there's a series of pictures to, that are based on Blossfelt and a drawing as well of a, um, oh, I forgot the name of it, artichoke and some more ferns. 
Then I did dandelions um, using charcoal, pencil and arranged materials. And then I started focusing on my... Then I did a response to Claude Monet. So here is the Claude Monet painting that I did. And then I did um, a section on fauvism. So fauvism is colours and very simple art, very naive art. So here was some of my pieces and thumbnails. And then I did a bigger painting on that. Um, again, this is all getting ready for my final piece. So I did an abstract um, rhododendron picture. And now I'm going to show you a close up of all my paintings that I did. So here is my last painting in my book, which I based my final piece on. So thank you for watching. Bye.